All right, so here's another good reason to use Web of Science. Web of Science, uh, the people who own Web of Science own EndNote. And so the integration with Web of Science is really, really slick. So let's say you do a search on Web of Science and you want to import one or more references to your EndNote library. So let's say we really like uh, this reference. I can click, boom, export to EndNote online. I can select if I want um, what, what types of information I want. I'll take the full record, why not? And click send. It'll send and should be able to find this reference. Let's see. Uh, let's look for bioaccessibility in my references. And here's the paper that was just added. Okay, but let's say we want to add a whole bunch of references. The other thing that's cool here is that now I have this little EN by these references, and it's telling me that these references or these records are in my EndNote library. Let's see if um, we can add multiple references at a time. Let's checkbox those three and then select export records to EndNote online. It warns me that I have three uh, results selected. Um, I could select all the records on the page if I wanted, but you can't do more than 500 page, um, journals or articles at a time. That's okay. I'll take the full record and I'll export those three. This might take a little bit longer. Cool. Uh, so it has now put those in my library. They let's see if I can. Again, my library is a little messy, so I'm fine. And I'm also having difficulty um, with this sort by added to library, newest to oldest. Maybe we do last updated. There we go. That's helping. Okay, but so you can you can be able to find your references in EndNote <clears throat> right away, which is really cool. So the EndNote Web of Science uh, importing is is really slick. So I do recommend another reason to use Web of Science. 